Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm on here. In this video, I'm going to benchmark Call of Duty Ghosts on a single GTX 1070. This is a digital recording, as always, which is done on an external recorder. So what you will see in this video will be pure performance. For this benchmarking video, I'm using an Intel Core i5-2500, which is overclocked to 4.8 GHz. There we are. The system has 16 GB of memory. And the graphics card is a single GTX 1070 made by KFA2. Uh, it is the EX model. The latest force were installed and it is also overclocked so it will be boosting at 2 GHz. I'm going to use fraps to collect frame rate data. We will see the basic result in this file and some analysis at the end of the video. So let me launch the game. Settings first, 1080p resolution, and I'm using the same settings as I used on my GTX 970 uh, a little while back. Very high settings, basically everything is maxed out except I'm not using motion blur uh, due to video quality and uh, not performance reasons. Anti-aliasing at two times multi-sampled anti-aliasing. Uh, this is the heaviest setting, the four times one. Two times was necessary for the GTX 970. It was getting a huge performance hit uh, four times. I'm not sure why. So I'm going to stick uh, to two times multi-sampled anti-aliasing for, for this video and everything else at maximum values except the dynamic fur which is uh, an NVIDIA thing and I am keeping it out uh, due to benchmarking some other cards I want to keep settings fair for all uh, video cards They emerged from the shadows and vanished into sunlight Outside the wall their reputation lingered over no man's land like a shroud of fear A weapon far more effective than brass or steel Merrick and Keegan, these were the men Dad had spoken of, the ghosts, and someone dared to go against them. They were headed to San Diego, Federation territory, to find their man Ajax. Ghosts. We'd only imagined them. Now, we were determined to be one of them. Alright, remote snipers online. We need to get eyes on Ajax. I'm starting the benchmark. There, 12 o'clock. Zoom in. Right there. Zoom in. That's him. That's our boy. They're moving and we should go now. We're going in there. What about backup? Why do you think you're here? Convoy incoming. Pick your shots carefully. Not to treat them to detonate. Here they come. Tag the trucks. That's a hit. Confirmed hit. Let's load up! Watch the third kid. Move 
open Ajax so our windows close and fast. We'll hit him at home plate and work our way up from there. Sergeant Gate. Ajax should be up here. Fingers on triggers. This should be where they're holding Ajax. Check it out with a remote sniper. We'll breach on your shot. He's not here! Where is he? Where Daddy, is he? Where did you take him? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know what he is! Riley's got a scent. Let's go! No, no, you, 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 you're no! to clear those RPGs! RPG! All clear. Stick with Riley. He'll lead us to Ajax. Let's go! Reinforcements will be here any second! Gas masks on. Throw gas under the door. Put the gas in there! <laughs> <laughs> Contact, 30 meters. 
contact. 20 minutes. Drag out. Logan, see if there's another entrance. We'll wait here for your signal. The frame rate result was 194, it was 124 on the 970, we have 56% better performance, which is uh, a very decent performance increase, no uh, serious CPU limits observed. Frame rate is extremely high and thankfully the frame times seem to be very decent at very low values. The CPU usage is uh, medium to high, quite well threaded uh, for uh, a 3 year old or 4 year old game, not bad. CPU temps are fine, 5.8 GB of system RAM used. The power of the card around 70%, give or take. GPU temps are fine. 2 GHz throughout the run. Uh, a very impressive for 4.8 gigabytes of video RAM used. I did not see that coming. Maybe that's why the four times multi sampled anti aliasing uh, gave such a huge performance hit on the 970. It does need a lot of video RAM uh, in order to run well. And let's see our analysis tools. I need this file, the big one. 
so a comparable frame rate at 142 still a crazy high frame rate frame times graph frame times chart uh, there, there seem to be a lot of spikes in the frame times they go up and down all the time I'm not sure why maybe that's uh, why not maybe that's why the tool suggests that the comparable frame rate is a lot uh, lower time spent beyond 16 milliseconds 16.7 milliseconds is zero however we have a pretty solid performance uh, the frame times are indeed very low we can see that the majority of them are at the 5 milliseconds threshold and some at 6, 4 but we have this uh, jumping up and down of the frame, frame times that uh, is not very good in order to um, have smooth performance but we are talking about crazy frame rate here so it is uh, unnoticeable and even so the yellow is uh, quite large because the average is such a small number at 5 milliseconds so even at 1.3 milliseconds uh, it does seem big but it is actually very low the frame times chart again without comparison we do have this uh, up and down all the time a lot of uh, variability in the frame times frame rate also some uh, variability from scene to scene let's see the mean max and average very good values the variability and the stuttering graphs 1.3 and 0.6 the percentile is at 9.3 9.4 milliseconds very good result uh, in all accounts this graph does not work in this game I'm not sure why and the comparable frame rate uh, overlaid with the variability and the stuttering there does seem to be a big variability uh, for this game but again we are talking about crazy high frame rates and this is uh, not very important for this specific example uh, this is the end of the video my friends, I hope you find it interesting, thank you very much for watching and take care.